how to get more clients to your coaching business. So today we are going to go over the top ways that I have used to get more coaching clients into my coaching business over the last four years that I have done coaching successfully. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below. There is so much content coming for you guys on how to elevate and scale your coaching business and your coaching skills. Your competitors. You are going directly to your targeted audience. DMing some of these prospects or leads, okay? So let's say you have John Smith is very active in one of your competitors comments all the time you see him always commenting everything else but it doesn't look like he's a client yet you are going to send them what we call a cold dm now cold dms they can just be a little monotonous i guess is a good way to say it but this still does not mean that 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 this method does not work especially when you are targeting a targeted audience that you know is already interested in your niche and if you want help with what you should send in your cold dm reach out to me on instagram i will help you with a couple of sentences that you can come up with for free i literally answer everyone on instagram every time someone dms me they're like oh i didn't think you'd respond outside of you know the people that actually want my services i still always answer everybody so make sure you reach out to me on instagram that link is directly always in the video description so you can easily find me there but doing a cold DM to an interested and targeted audience is a great way to get more clients into your coaching business for sure. Paid advertising. So this is a service that I absolutely use to skyrocket my clients' businesses. Do not sleep on paid advertising. I literally copy and paste my entire proven ads method into my client's business to 10x their earnings. And it is something that when I first started years ago, I didn't even think about. I didn't think about not doing the organic method. I didn't think about having to go that slow route, right? So I started taking some of my money and I was saving it, putting it to the side because I knew I wanted to try to test this out, get into it because I would see all these e-commerce um, you know, businesses doing it. And I actually had e-commerce about eight years ago and I was doing ads. And the reason why I didn't think of it is because I wasn't really successful back then. It took me so long to figure it out. And then it just hit me one day like, why don't I try ads for my actual personal business and bring it to my actual personal page build that trust and relationship with possible leads and prospects and see how that goes and game changer absolute game changer guys so do not sleep on paid advertising if you want my services again you can reach out to me on instagram if not just do some research on your own, but do not sleep on paid advertising. All you need to start with is at least 20 or $25 a day. And I'm telling you, it will work in your benefit. It's attending networking events. So I was kind of in a weird phase in my life for a few years and I strictly just stayed online. I never really went to any events, but let me tell you something, they are a gold mine. When I started going to networking events and I was really able to speak with people, tell them what I was doing, I got a lot of clients, like clients that I didn't even know. Like I was just literally speaking to people, was networking. And when I started telling them about the results that I get for my clients in their coaching business, I started selling my stuff and I wasn't even trying to. So networking events for me has been a complete game changer in the sense of stepping outside of my comfort zone. Now, this may not be for everybody. Um, you know, sometimes networking events have a high um, you know, price tag. Sometimes people just aren't as social as that because I wasn't for years, but networking events was something that I slept on for a while. And again, I didn't go there with any intentions 
of wanting to really sell anything. I went there to learn and hone in on specific skills that I wanted even more. And it just so happened that I ended up getting clients and that real one-to-one face-to-face interaction that you get with people to really build that trust with them. It makes also for just really top tier clients collabs. So again, for a very long time, I was just in a sense a recluse. I just really like to stay online. But once I started collabing with people and I expanded my audience into their audience and they were expanding their audience into my audience is when I was really able to get myself in front of a whole brand new group of people that never knew who I was, didn't understand or really know the value of my products and services and what I can do for them. And once I really started collabing with people is when I was able able to bring in more clients into my coaching business and absolutely changed just the way that I view collabs. It wasn't just about getting more views. I ended up actually getting paying clients on top of it that wanted to learn from me and get into my services as well. My favorite type of clients, and that is by referrals. So outside of organic methods to getting clients, which organic clients are probably one of the top tier type of clients to get, is a referral because they trust the person that trusts you. And when you are coaching, you know that trust means everything to really be able to bridge that gap from turning someone into a prospect, then into a paying client. So really make sure you are honing in on your craft and your skills. So that way you give amazing customer satisfaction and results So you can start obtaining referrals to get more clients into your coaching business. Upwork or Fiverr or both. So Upwork and Fiverr is a huge freelancing platform. If you haven't heard about them yet, maybe you're just still not really too deep in your um, entrepreneurship journey, but most of us have either used you know, Upwork or Fiverr for our own businesses, or we even offer our own services on there. I offer my services on both platforms as well because it gets me even more clients. So there is direct links for Upwork and Fiverr below if you guys want to sign up. And those platforms are another great way to get yourself in front of their users. They have millions of active users on that on their websites that are in search for specific services. So definitely put your coaching services on there so you can start gaining even more clients outside of you having to heavily market yourself. Facebook groups. And I will trickle into those Facebook groups and just kind of give them my results just so that way I can pull in some interested you know, parties in a sense, people that are interested in what I am saying to then turn them into actual paying clients. So I have a full video on how to use Facebook to really get clients. So I'm not going to go fully into it, but do not sleep on Facebook groups, guys, because it is a great way to get yourself in front of a very large audience. Another great way we are getting down to the list, guys, just a few more to go is email marketing. Email marketing is a great way to turn leads into paying clients. Now, if you do not have an email list yet, what I recommend is making a really quick freebie, okay? So it could literally be anything, maybe just like a free 10 minute video, giving them a little bit of value, but for them to receive that video, they have to sign up to a newsletter. So I am on Kajabi, I absolutely love Kajabi. It's literally a one-stop shop. Kajabi link will also be in the video description down below if you wanna give it a look. 
And I have my, all of my email marketing on Kajabi as well because they have those capabilities. Before I was on ConvertKit, then I had my course, then I had my website, and it was just a mess. And it was, I just had, I had to log into 13 different things and it was just too much. Now on Kajabi, everything is on one site, all of my stuff is there, and I have an app with Kajabi so my clients have access to the app right handy to them with all of the content material, where they can contact me, just literally everything. But anyways, it's not about Kajabi, but doing some type of email marketing. Start getting emails from people. Do that freebie that I told you. Start collecting emails and then start building trust with them through email marketing and you will see how well if you are able to get them down through a funnel, you can convert them into paying clients. Guest interviews on somebody's podcast or YouTube channel. So this is something that I highly recommend you guys to do. Being just open to collabs, obviously, but doing interviews and really being able to speak in front of another audience really build that trust. They can see what type of person you are and you really build that connection with those viewers and which can turn then into potential clients or even just followers. So if you do get asked to do some type of interview on a podcast or a YouTube channel, definitely don't shy away from it because it is a great option to have when you are looking for more clients. LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a great way and a great platform to really be able to network with other professionals and other people. So many people sleep on LinkedIn. They think it's just a platform to kind of find a job, but it's not. There is actually a lot of skilled people on that platform, networking, speaking amongst each other, and is really it's really such a great platform to get yourself and your services and what you have to offer in front of a large group of people. An oldie but a goodie. And when I first started out years ago in my entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship journey, there you go. I actually was on Craigslist. Okay. So do not sleep on Craigslist as much as yes, there is a lot of rubbish on the website. There is still potential clients on that website that you can connect with. So do not sleep on Craigslist. It's definitely, why not just give it a shot, fill out your profile. That's exactly what I did. I didn't really do anything further on Craigslist. I just went, put up, you know, what services I was offering and I got leads, a lot of leads, but I did end up getting a few paying clients from Craigslist. So that is definitely an option for you. Blog. So when I first started out over eight years ago, now I started out with a blog and I was giving out my wellness tips. I was able to get myself out of depression and obesity with just my own natural remedies, skills, and techniques. And I started offering free advice on my blog, which ended up turning a lot of those readers into paying clients. So if you have any type of skills, which let me tell you, I didn't even have any type of technical skills when I was first starting out eight years ago. I used to be in the medical field and I built my own website by myself, but now with so many different options out there, Bluehost being one of them, and just really being able to find templates, easy templates, it's not as hard as it used to be even when I first started out. And building a blog is a great way to give free advice, give value to potential clients, and then building you and them building that kind of connection and trust. Kind of a piggyback off of the blog, but that is guest posting on somebody else's blog. So guest posting not only helps actually your blog uh, rank better in search, but it also, again, just kind of opens you up to new avenues and new audiences 
to then you could further your, you know, your client base and your viewer base and, and get yourself just in front of more people. So guest posting with someone on someone else's blog is a great way to get new clients. Reddit. Reddit is one of the best ways that I started from years ago that I will still hop into once in a while to pull some coaching clients. So in your business, you should always have monthly goals that you want to reach and that you want to exceed. And let me tell you, there's months where I feel like, oh, am I going to make my quota? Am I not going to make my monthly quota that I want to hit? And I will hop into Reddit and I will start going into the communities that are interested in my niche. And I will just start networking in those communities. And let me tell you, I am able to pull clients that way. I will end up getting DMs and I kind of use Reddit the same way as I do with Facebook groups. And it is a great way to network and build trust to, for prospects to turn into paying clients. Something that is actually in the works right now, guys. And I get asked this all the time when people reach out to me on Instagram and, you know, I'm able to speak with them one on one. Why don't you have a podcast? <laughs> And I've had so many people ask me to like, let's start a podcast together. And it's just really because I have so many other moving parts and, you know, I was really scaling and scaling my business and I, I wanted to just keep my focus on that. Plus I'm here on YouTube. I travel, just so much stuff going on, but I am now at a place where I have my business as a well-oiled engine. So I am able to give back to my community, start a podcast, give even more value and content, and in turn, really be able to build trust with everyone. So then I can get even more clients and help more people succeed. Last but not least, thank you for sticking with me all the way until the end. Owning your craft and refining your craft. I really wanted to finish off the video with this because I really want to make it a point to have you guys understand that your mindset and the services that you deliver and really living within that person, within your craft, is what is going to bring you more clients and more success. So I really hope that this list was helpful, that this video was helpful on how you can get more clients into your coaching business today. Reach out to me on Instagram if you have any questions or if you are interested in any of my services or just comment down below if you think I missed a few or you have some other tips that you can give the rest of the viewers as we are all here to help each other out and grow our coaching businesses. Until next time, guys.